Mishimiwa Hamed Solum Abdullah, the second vice president of the revolutionary government of Zanzibar, Mishimiwa Zena Ahmed Zayed, the chief secretary of the president's office, Mishimiwa Dr. Sada Mkoya, the honorable minister of finance and planning, Ndugu Jamal Mchula, Mishimiwa Idrissa Kitwana, Weshimiwa Vionkozi Wote Wengeni Walikwa, Vijana Mabibi Namabwena, Asalaamu Alaikum. Habari za asubuhi. Na wasilimu kwa jina la Jamhuri ya Mungwana wa Tanzania. Ndugu Mgeni Razmi, Wageni Walika, Mabibi Namabwana. Today on this 11th of July, we are in Zanzibar to commemorate World Population Day, to provide us an opportunity to reflect on the importance of population issues in the context of Tanzania, in the context of Zanzibar. How the country can fast track progress towards achieving national priorities, development goals, and harnessing the full potential of women, girls, and young people. Our human family recently surpassed 8 billion people globally, the largest human population in history. This is a remarkable attainment that takes place as people are living longer and healthier lives. Present-day population offers a real success and a story of progress. Populations are living longer. Since 1990, the average life expectancy across the world has increased by 10 years. At that same period, life expectancy in Tanzania has increased by more than 15 years. The advancements that enable longer and healthy lives are a reason for celebration. And did you know that half of the future increase in projected global population by 2050 will be attributed to just eight countries in the world. Five of these countries that will contribute to the population growth are in Africa, including the United Republic of Tanzania. Again, eight countries will make up 50% of the world population by 2050, including Tanzania. And this comes at a time when Tanzania will be realizing its Vision 2050 results. The current size of the population in Zanzibar and across Tanzania is 62 million, with nearly 1.88 million here in Zanzibar. As reported in the Sensa, this represents a 3.2% growth rate in the mainland and a 3.7% growth rate in Zanzibar. This is attributed to a high fertility rate of 4.8, with the average woman in Tanzania having five children, an increased life expectancy, now nearly 65 for men and 69 years old for women. However, despite these advances, several gaps still remain which prevent Tanzania, particularly its women, girls, and young people, from achieving their full potential. Gaps in accessing education, health services, including sexual and reproductive health, high levels of gender-based violence, gaps in policy, and frameworks that can undermine gender equality objectives. It's for this reason that UNFPA promotes a gender equality agenda, recognizing that sexual and reproductive health and rights are the foundation of gender equality, dignity, and opportunity. Ndugu Mgeni Razmi, Wageni Walikwa, Mabime Nababwena, on this day, World Population Day, and every day, we invigorate conversations around the importance of empowering women and girls and the rights to their choices and future. And on this Population Day, I would like to challenge us to think differently about how we look at population. The question should not be about, is the population too big or is it too small? Rather, it's about whether all people 
are able to exercise their rights and to reach their full potential. There's strong evidence that education and family planning can yield enormous dividends to economic growth and human capital. Just as physical capital, such as infrastructure and machinery, can drive economic growth, human capital is equally critical to fueling the nation's progress, and investing in human capital is about improving the lives, creating a skilled and productive workforce that drives innovation, competitiveness, and prosperity. On this World Population Day, we advocate for accelerating the advancement of gender equality through access to sexual and reproductive health, through improved education, appropriate labor policies, and equitable norms in the workplace and the home. Ndugum Geni Razmi, Mugeni Walikwa, Mabibi Namabwena, we also note today that more than 60% of the population is young people below the age of 24, and it's a growing population. This growth means that there is immediate investment needed in employment, education, and health, especially reproductive health services for young people, including adolescent girls and young women. These investments in adolescents and young people, including their reproductive health, quality education, and skills development can equip the young people to succeed in the labor market and can help Tanzania, can help Zanzibar reap and harness its demographic dividend. Young people who are empowered with rights and choices are key to fostering a more prosperous and sustainable future. They bring infinite possibilities to households, to their community and society. Ndugum Geni Razmi, Wageni Walikwa, Mabibi Namabwena, in closing, on this World Population Day, let us remember that advancing gender equality is a key solution to addressing many population concerns. And realizing sexual and reproductive health is the foundation of gender equality. We commend the government of Tanzania, across Zanzibar and the mainland alike, for their commitment to developing human capital through efforts and investments in education, healthcare, skills development, and gender equality. UNFPA commits to continue joining forces with the government, with stakeholders, to ensure that the population of the United Republic of Tanzania, particularly women, girls, and young people, can claim their rights and make their choices to fulfill their full potential and build a prosperous future for the country and its people. Mishimiwa, count on UNFPA's continued support. Tupapamoja, asantani sana, kwa kunisikilizia.